Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 73 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses. Alright, I did the uh, weekend for uh, battling off screen because there was nothing new. Anyway, let's just do some instruction. Uh, who can still get instructed anyway? Most everybody that does doesn't have much motivation anymore. Actually, Ash can still get instructed. All right, we'll just go hard on this the riding. I don't this mean that kind of riding. Oh, that's a relief. Yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> You're... We're able to catch up and get another one for ya. What does everybody else need? Balthus needs faith. Lots of faith. Then he can get on his way to being a war monk. Couldn't have done it alone. All right, oh, so far so good. Great. It's all coming to plan. Back Happy definitely needs riding. That's pretty much the only thing that's keeping her from being a Valkyrie right now. Intuition's all I need. There we go. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll just hold it. <coughs> I don't know why I wasn't doing that on purpose. That's what I should have been doing in the first place. I don't think I need to instruct Constance as much. She's already where I want her to be. Now, who else? You know, I'll let the others go automatically. Good enough. Hey, pal. Here's a perfect combo for a scrappy guy like me. Axe skills and brawling, yeah? Swinging my axe left and right and then punching guys out if I lose my weapon. I was born to be a war master. No, I want to keep you as a war monk. Oh, whose birthday is it? Felix's birthday. Why, thank you. All right, you just get flowers. Are we all good? I don't know why, but lately it's been taking up all the low things. Oh, only good between you two? But you two are getting along so fine. I changed Annette's goals to focus on faith instead of reason now. That's her only roadblock in being a Gremory. Growth sustains me. Alright, Felix got reason level four. Is this what success feels Annette's like? got recover. Always something new to learn. Gilbert's got glowing ember. And there we go. Alright, seeing as how I am professor level A, I can do a lot Appreciate more things. It. And Anna just gave me the Seraph robe. Alright, as much as I'd like to explore and get some more professor levels... Do I want to do a seminar? Because I haven't done a seminar yet. No, I think we'll just explore and get some food. And I still gotta find that silverfish. Which, you know, I did have to do a bit of research. In other words, I looked it up. It turns out that to get it, it is like the glimmering fish, like the yellow fish. However, don't get all perfect. Huh, Fodlandy. I got one there anyway. A goddess messenger. Antitoxin. Man, that would've been great if I got two silverfish right there. Like, imagine if I didn't have to go fishing anymore. Because I could have just done what I did. Maybe. Anyway, let's go get some food. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> okay. Hey. Alright, din din time. Harvest festival? Alright, I'll say Mercedes and. I'm gonna say Shamir. This 
This is my absolute. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be a long time before I get to A+. I can just picture it taking a while. All right, let me go do more fishing. It's not gonna be as feisty as before. So I'll have to make do. I'll try for a perfect with this one. Caledonian Gar. Oh, Alright. I should do the tournament too, because I haven't even done that yet. Yeah, this is not going to be going very well, as you can tell. I'll just get a good on purpose for this one. Oh, it's still a bullhead anyway. I got lots of bullheads now. It's like a trophy hunter in Spain. Alright, alright, I'll just get some more fish. And I'll check on the guard. Oh! That time I didn't try to get a good. I mean, I got what I need for anything except silverfish. That's the only fish I need to get. This is crazy that I still haven't got a silverfish. That one's been eluding me for so long. I'm gonna end up using all my great bait. Come on, yellow. Give me yellow. Yellow! Wow, oh, I got three red in a row. That's pretty neat. Seriously? Can we finally get this damn thing? Two weeks ago was great because we actually did get a yellow and a purple. Okay, fine. I'll get another red. Wasting my time doing lots of fishing. <laughs> I don't have any... Thing else to rhyme with it. Well, there's plenty of things, I just don't care to use them. Wow! All small! How shite is that? I wasted a herring bait. And it gave me all small. Okay, slightly large. Oh my god. Alright, guess we're going back to earthworms. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you want to go? Oh. I don't want to like, just catch nothing with this. I want to at least get something, even if it sucks. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to buy some more bait. I haven't needed to buy bait in a long time because I was getting it across, like, many stalls. Oi! <laughs> Alright, try another blowfly. No, not yellow. 
Red. Blue. Okay, you know what? That's enough fishing. I'm only gonna do it on like a really good day for fishing now. I don't think Gilbert will mind that he's gonna be waiting like a few moons to finally get silverfish. And if he does, he can kiss my arse. Oh, chickpeas. Not bad. I think that's the first time I pick some up. I do like chickpeas. Oh, wait a minute. I could have put, like, a fifth thing there. Oh, too late now. So I can do spread... I can spread Pegasus Blessings. That'll make my yield even better. And nobody wants to talk to me. Alright, let me go, let me go buy some things. Looks like Anna's shop is still open. There's, I hope they... Welcome. Okay, does... She... Is this only there for good? Is that the one? Um, like she doesn't replenish her goods? Is that the one? Should get some elixirs. A bunch. And let's go. Yeah, that's it. Come back soon. Hello there. This one, yes. Okay, and I gotta buy lots I of these. This one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. Oh my god, the dogs are barking. This one, yes. Out of order. I thank you. Oh my god. Return soon, please. <laughs> There's two dogs and they're barking one right after the other, so here's a whoop, whoop, whoop. It's hilarious. Professor. <laughs> Alright, let me go get some more food. Up okay. those levels again. <laughs> That's all I can do. Actually. This is all a bit troubling, isn't it? The people from the kingdom seem to be of two minds as well. Can we really plan to fight when we're this unsure of ourselves? Maybe fighting will actually help. You think once we're face to face with the enemy, it might help us band together? I hope so. I hope so too. You know, I'll go for some reason experience. About everyone else, but heading to the Empire seems like a good idea to me. The search for Lady Rhea will be so much easier if we can just get the Empire out of the way. I suppose Dimitri might still pose a problem, though. He seems so fixated on the Imperial capital, but I get the feeling he's not even sure what he wants anymore. Oh, yeah, there we go. This will help out. There is still more to learn. Oh, and no, I finally got fire magic on Byleth. <laughs> uh, full menu, please. Sylvain and Ash. Let's get some grub. Yeah, you did. This looks delicious. Yeah, this is really helping with Professor Level. Just get food all the time. Grondor Meat Skewers. What makes Grondor Meat so distinct, though? My favorite meat. Wow. I have no idea. Not that I would know because it's not a real place, but still. I don't even want to imagine, like, the Fire Emblem world being, like, a legitimate world. Constantly having to be at war a lot of the time. Uh, let's get some stew. Like, Byleth would just be on, like, those, uh, Facebook or YouTube videos of people eating, like, 10,000 calories a day. Like, I forget the guy's name, but there was one guy that I watched that ate, like, uh, 15 lots of those Korean fire noodles. <laughs> it was literally 15 ramen bricks with that uh, Korean fire sauce. 
The thing is, you're supposed to stir-fry it, but he just boiled the noodles and just smeared the sauce all over it. But you know, more power to ya. But man, <laughs> I have never tried Korean fire noodles. This is my favorite. I want to. Not 15 ramen bricks full. Oh damn, I didn't even do the thing at the cathedral. Or I could have just uh get some notes. I've recently begun to think that ghosts may not exist. But if that's true, I don't know how to explain what I saw when I was a kid. If you thought it was a ghost, then it probably was. It could have been some kind of magic. Ah, Ash likes the idea of it being magic. Ah. That's good news. Alright, let me see how the statues are doing. Need something. Okay, so there's probably no way I'm going to be able to fix up all of these. That's worth a try. Wait a minute, why does... Okay, 10,000... Why does this one need way more? Why does Seth Lean require an extra 2,500? See you again soon. Shows how much I know. Alright, let's go. Oh, soon gotta prepare for the mission to meet Rodrigue. So remember, that's still a thing we gotta do. Before we do that, oh my god, we got a ton of support combos. Let me see if I can burn through as many of them as I can. Oh, Gilbert and Ash are gonna have their first one. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work, and you will certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. One learns the craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow, 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course! It's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. Don't be modest, you're a great knight. If there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I, um... Well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight. But for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own, yet mine... I do not speak of. Oh. How come? Because it is personal. Mine. It allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh. Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. Well, hopefully I'll think of something in due time. <laughs> As we're soon gonna go out to war with the Imperials again. Alright, Yuri and Balthus. Mm, the Myrmidon. Ha! Sit yourself. My gut says the odds are in favor of that mercenary. He's clearly a seasoned but. Yeah. 
Right when I open my big mouth, he goes and loses on me. <laughs> I win. Again. Had enough, Balthus. Damn you, you've won every round. The fights are rigged. Admit it, it's the only explanation. <laughs> of course they aren't. It's not like we're playing for money. We wouldn't be so foolish now, would we? <laughs> You're the one who started this silly game anyway. So out with it. You lost? Spill the beans. It has to be juicy, though. Something that leaves you a bit... vulnerable. Why did I agree to these stakes? If this losing streak keeps up, you'll know an awful lot about me, pal. Let's see... Okay, got one. A few years back, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bird beast in some ancient ruins. <sighs> this one again? You obliterated the ruins, and the lord who found out put a price on your head. You've told me a thousand times before. Good story bears repeating, yeah? But it seems I'm all out of anecdotes. How about I take my shirt off and let you look your fill instead? Two full minutes. Oh, come now. As if I'm interested in seeing your sweaty torso for the umpteenth time. If you're fresh out of stories, then I have a question for you. About your crest. Hit me where it hurts, why don't you? Is this your idea of negotiation? Perhaps. Or perhaps I'm simply curious. Tell me, how did you come across such a rarity? To my knowledge, nobody within House Albrecht has your crest. Why well, ask what you already know? You've got your own rare crest, so I'm sure you figured it out. Unless you think the goddess gave us these things while we slept. <laughs> Wait, do you? Hey now. I'm the one winning the bets, so I'm the one asking the questions. Got me there. Hey, look! The next round's starting. My luck's about to turn around. I can feel it. Let's do you a favor and call it good here. No need to embarrass yourself further, friend. Even if I'm terrible at this, I can't walk away during a losing streak. I have my own sort of honor. <sighs> All right, Balthus. Check out... Those two Myrmidons. The two who were eating together earlier? Huh. Who knew they were opponents? I kinda figured. Thoughts? Well, that one's pretty beefy. Quick on his feet, too. Clearly, a seasoned fighter. His opponent's okay, but a bit showy. Compensating for being newer at this would be my guess. Mm-hmm. So, make your choice. Thank you. First guy, no doubt about it. You can see from a mile away that he lost. Well, that was quick. Not everything is as it appears. For example, were you and I to go at it, perhaps you'd bet in favor of yourself over me. And you'd lose. I'd use my cunning to ensure my victory by any means necessary. Maybe I'd slip something into your food. Level the playing field. You see now? Point taken. I'll keep that in mind for this next one. Gotta put that great advice to the test, right? <laughs> Ever the bold one. It seems we must continue these games until you finally concede. If Fire Emblem ever did PvP, that would have been a great support combo to reveal that. Alright, Sylvain and Felix. I'll go to A. Sylvain, eat these. What are these, Felix? Oh, hey, is this candy? A girl in town gave them to me, but I don't want them. Right, you don't like sweet stuff. Thanks, I'll eat them later. So, what do you need? Want me to help you get closer to a girl? Just point her out. You're incorrigible. No, I wanted to thank you for your help in battle. If you hadn't spotted that enemy ambush, I would have been killed. Nah, I didn't do anything special. Friends help each other out, especially on the battlefield. Just a little give and take, you know? You never change. Nope. I try to stay on an even keel. You're always... Always what? <sighs> Nothing. Come on. If you've got something on your mind, then say it. Maybe I'll tell you later, maybe I won't. Fair enough. I'll be having something to eat while you're deciding 
whatever it is you're deciding. Actually, come with me. My treat. If you do want to talk, then I'm right there. Okay, just this once. Only because you saved my life. Free food, possible conversation, and when we're done, we can find some girls. <sighs> it was a joke! Felix, I was joking! Come on, let's just go eat. Would it have been a joke if he didn't react positively, though? I'm just asking the important questions. Uh, let's see here. How about Annette and Gilbert? Father! Father! Why do you pretend not to recognize me? Annette, I... I've been looking everywhere for you. Please stop treating me like a stranger. I can't bear it. <sighs> Father, wait! How long will you keep avoiding me like this? I have lost the right to face you or your mother. This has nothing to do with rights. We're family. I'm your daughter. Indeed, you are my daughter. Yet I am no father. I am only a fool who abandoned his family. You really think it was foolish to abandon us? I do. Then the least you can do is apologize. I'm fine, but Mother deserves as much. I finished my studies at the School of Sorcery and the Officer's Academy. I have a busy and satisfying life now. But Mother... She's waited for you to return all this time, living under my uncle's roof. I... I am sorry, Annette. I already told you. Don't say that to me. Apologize to Mother. Let her see your face. That I cannot do. I know you do not understand, but it is the way of things. As for you, Annette, say the word, and I will disappear from your life forever. For now, though, I must return to my duties. Father, how could you be so cruel? <laughs> Yeah, the guilt on Gilbert's heart is really weighing down on him. Can't even face his daughter or his wife. Hopefully we can fix that soon. Alright, let's go with Ingrid and Felix. Why are you taking over my cleaning responsibilities? You're wounded, and you're going too slowly. I couldn't stand to watch. You're still fretting over me, are you? I'm fine now, really. It wasn't even serious. I could have handled the situation alone. That enemy wasn't much of a threat. Yes, yes, we all know you could have. But I also didn't want to risk something unforeseen befalling you. I've been doing some thinking. I feel a bit lost. I don't know that I'm cut out to be a knight after all. Without fulfilling that dream, without being a knight, I've been asking myself where my place is in the world. And I think... I think I found my answer. I don't want to lose anyone anymore. So I want to protect those I hold dear. That's why you're protecting me, huh? What a fool you are. Foolish to act in line with what I value most? Were I to die, I would die knowing I followed my heart, my truest calling. I've been reading through more of that book I was telling you about. Recall the hypothetical question it posed? Do you carry out the orders? or protect your hometown. You've been reading that garbage again? The book never specified that one should prioritize the commander's orders. Instead, it suggested that one should follow their heart in the matter. That's what a knight, that's what anyone being true to themselves should do. That's just the editor's opinion. Of course, and I find value in that opinion. Glenn died following his heart not heeding the commands of the country or even the royal family. His death pains me to this day. It was a tragedy. But had he survived, I think he would have suffered. I will follow his example. No matter the outcome, no matter the circumstance, I believe in myself. <laughs> you know nothing. What is it that you know then? 
What is it you fight for, Felix? My own beliefs. I see no difference from my own stance. You don't understand. You fight to be stronger than everyone, that you might protect those you care for, correct? Okay, fine. You do understand. My point is, don't let this happen again. If you died, I'd be... annoyed. To avoid annoyance, then, I suggest you continue to grow stronger. If that happens, I might allow you to protect me, too. <sighs> You're insufferable. He's got a lot of adjectives for his own friends. Incorrigible, insufferable, all of the above. All right, let's go with uh, happy and Constance, and then I'll call it an episode. Hey, Loco, how are you? Happy, what in the world has gotten into you? Happy, it would be easier to understand you if your mouth was less stuffed. Kindly finish what you are eating and then say your piece. My pleasure. Nothing better than fresh pastries. You sure you don't want one, Coco? It's not about whether I want a bun or not. It's about your atrocious manners. Walking around with your arms and jaws stuffed full of unwrapped pastries? There are crumbs all over your lips, your clothes. <gasps> You've left a trail of them behind you. Unacceptable. Want to take this outside? Hey, I paid for them. I can eat them however I want. You sure you don't want a bite? If you don't have any, I'm just going to eat them all. You have to try them fresh out of the oven if you want the full effect. Pretty soon they'll get cold. Oh, I'll explain in noble speak so you understand. <clears throat> They have a crisp, oven-browned exterior and a sophisticated, spongy sweetness lying within. Uh, not... Not interested? That's fine. More for me. I was going to say, not so fast. Spare one for me, but only because you insisted. It would be rude of me to decline an offering made in good faith. One must mind one's manners. You're really dragging this out. Here, I'll make it easy for you. Open up. Wait, don't you... Not bad, right? I could not, in good conscience, acknowledge this as anything but delicious. Now you have crumbs all over you, too. Your form could use a little work. Next time, stuff the whole thing in your mouth at once. That's the proper way to eat a snack like this. If you ate this at some stuffy party, cutting it into sensible little bites, the experience would be ruined. I see your point. There are more types of dining in this world than I was ready to allow for. You've won me over. Let's eat them while we head to the cathedral and litter the ground with crumbs. A capital idea! Wait, no! At the cathedral? You've lost me again, Happy. Okay, that, that one was pretty fun. <laughs> it's always good to have some, like, uh, loose convos like that that get a little hilarious. It cuts into the mood. Anyway, let's, uh, stop it here. In the next part, we got this mission. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.